and welcome back. I'm your host, Sensei Pong, and today, again, we're playing Asagawa Academy, and welcome back to another installment. We had just met Jontron and Jacques, and he helped us find our home loop class. And we're late, so, and it's the first day, and, you know, that's, that's a little bit embarrassing. I, I was a schoolgirl once, and, you know, if you're a schoolgirl, I will at 1.2 or are in high school and a girl you you know what I'm talking about it, it can get a little bit embarrassing you, it's and this goes for guys as well so I'm speaking all around the board it's a little awkward being in a new school and walking in late and having everybody just stare at you and be like oh my gosh dude so slacker I don't know I can't think of anything <laughs> Whatever. All right. So if I have any like important decisions to make, I've got my dice, I've got my cup of tea, you know, a cup of tea, my cup of tea. Anywho, let's carry on. We ran up the stairs and made it into the classroom just as a bell rang. My heart caught in my throat. Thankfully, the teacher hadn't come yet. Well, good times. Instead, students clumped into tight pods and milled around the classroom, catching up on vacation John. news. Thank you so much for showing me to class, John. See you later. No problem. I'll see you around. I, that, that's, that's as bad as Markiplier's impersonation of John Tron. Um, if anybody knows what video I'm reference, referencing, it's not one of their regular videos. It was like a um, convention. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Go go check that out. Maybe I'll leave a link to the description in the description below to that um, little video because that is actually a pretty funny video. It's a bit long. It's like an hour and a half, I think. Or about an hour. I don't remember. Anyways, he waved and disappeared into the wriggling mass of students. I glanced around the room, looking for an empty seat. Hannah! Hannah! May peeled herself out from between a cuddling couple. Was that JonTron? Were you just talking to JonTron? Yeah. My eyes widened, and I couldn't help feeling a little smug. Hmm. I realized I didn't Another way to class after Hugh and I got separate, and he offered to walk me. <laughs> May emitted a highly pressurized squeal. I would do the same thing, but baby's asleep. John Tron walked you to class? Oh my gosh, you have to tell him everything! She grabbed me by the wrist and pulled me to an empty desk in the back corner of the room, right next to the window. I saved you a seat. I slid in and took off my backpack. Looking on the side of my desk, I was a little bit worried. The books inside were too heavy for the bag to handle, but so far it held up well. Um. Sorry we got separated, by the way. It can get a little chaotic sometimes. So tell me, what happened? What did he say? What did he smell like? <laughs> does he have peach fuzz? Is it rough? Well, he does have the chest hair. If you're into that, though. <laughs> Wait, what? Hmm. No, and he smells great. No. <laughs> they were very important questions. These are very important questions I'm asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair super silky, or did it have the roughness of a dog's coat? Before I could answer, the door in the front room, front of the room slid open, and a tall woman strolled in. The class went quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously. Blood rushing through my ears. Class. Good morning, class. The teacher's melodious voice swam through the room, calming the buzz of high, uh, buzzing high of students back from break. My shoulders relaxed. My fear ebbed away. I am your teacher, Suzuka Wakahisa. You can call me Miss Suzuka. The emphasis she placed on the word led me to believe. Calling her Mrs. Was, wasn't a mistake she would take lightly. Some of you have noticed that we have a new student in the semester. A hail of murmurs passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. Nope. There, there was that fear mm -hmm. again. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I nodded, stood, stood and slowly walked to the front of the room, counting my steps to make sure I wouldn't fall. I faced the class, took a deep breath and in to introduce myself, and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. There was John, 
sitting with two other boys wearing normal boots club jackets. One of the boys, the tallest one, was staring at me, the barest of frowns on his face. Something about him seemed really familiar. Wait, he was PBG, wasn't he? The other founder of the Normal Boots Club. Suddenly, all the strength left my knees. What should I do? Why was he frowning? Was it possible I already made a bad impression on him? Oh, you had to be kidding me. If he didn't like me, what did that mean for everyone else? Wouldn't they follow his lead? <gasps> I swallowed. The faces of the class began to congeal, forming one giant blob. You moved from uh, Amarisu, right? I nodded and swallowed again. Then, like a beacon of light, I noticed May smiling and giving me a thumbs up. That's right. What would May do in this situation? Yes. I yes. Moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amaririsu Public High School. This feels redundant, but I'm going to repeat that. I just moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. Mizuno. I transferred from Amaririsu Public High School. I, I can't I'm read really as well. I'm really excited to be here. I hope you'll all take good care of me from now on. I'm really excited to be here. I hope you'll take good care of me from now on. I bowed my head to the class, and they clapped politely. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he seemed oddly confused. Maybe he always looked like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you may be seated. I returned to my seat, having a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. Shizuka began to talk about standard procedure for the semester, the rules for classes when homework was due, and, well, that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of moment caught my eye. TBG again, staring at me with his peanut butter eyes. I, I can't think. I can't think of some. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I glanced at him. His head snapped back to the blackboard. What was his problem? <laughs> Class continued on like that until finally the bell rang and it was time for lunch. Mm. May stretched her arms over her head and yawned. Man, I hate the first day of class. It's always so boring. Weren't you looking forward to this morning? Something about exciting things happening? <laughs> well, yeah, but it, it already did. You met JonTron, didn't you? Now I've got nothing to look forward to. Uh. She sighed. And I was hoping to see Jerry before class, too. She slouched and fell across the front of my desk. It seemed like this would be happening a lot. Is Jared really that hot? May's head snapped back up, her eyes flashing. <gasps> what did you say? I... Uh... If you stare directly at him for too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen what? it happen. What? Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super hungry. Oh. I looked at my backpack. It held up well throughout class, but I worried that if I didn't take some of my stuff out now, I might do some permanent damage to it, especially with Satch's book in there. I can't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. Oh, no. If we don't go now, they'll run out of the sesame seed buns. Uh, that's okay. I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? Alright. I was so lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. A good book as it was, I was infinitely happier that I had May around so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knew what I would do with myself? Especially with PBG staring at me like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. It might just be the way the way that he was. Cheered, I headed for the cafeteria. I carried my melon bread through the mo Oh, I want melon bread. What? It is a really empty cafeteria. You don't play visual novels. They always 
okay, like 80% of them take place in high schools, and 80% of the pictures of the school is dead empty. Because... <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 that's the wrong kind of visual novel. Though there are visual novels with shadow people, I'm sure. Well, just like people, but shadow people. <laughs> that's even scarier. Shadow people with slight, like, faces. That's, no, that's worse. I would rather have an empty cafeteria. You know, Detective Conan, right? Really? Okay, so, like, at the beginning of every, like, episode, it's, like, the murderer or the prime suspect, but the person committing the crime, you see them commit the crime, but they don't animate the features. It's just a silhouette of a guy with eyes and a mouth, and I'm always like, hey, he was, uh, when my sister and I would watch it, I'd be like, hey, that's the same guy as last time. <laughs> the black mysterious man. She's like, oh, come on, come on, Fred, you know, they, you know, they just do that. I'm like, they're racist. <laughs> uh, okay, but now this makes me want to have melon bread. This melon bread is amazing. Ooh. Yeah, because the Asian market's right there. Yes! Alright. At some point this week, I will get melon bread. I carried my melon bread through the minefield of people, searching for the now familiar sight of May's red hair. And I have a feeling... Uh, like a good gut feeling because we're still in the introduction phase of our story that I will come across another eligible bachelor bachelor I almost said bachelorette but could it possibly the staring judging eyes of peanut butter gamer or somebody else or Jacques with his beautiful soft feathers my face. Find out next time here on Sensei Pong Plays Asagao Academy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I messed that up. Drop the mic. I can't do that one. I don't feel right hitting the mic.